Faye Tversky, the Director of Effective Philanthropy at the William and Flora Hewlett Foundation. I had the privilege of creating uh, this group about six years ago. Uh, it's a very interesting and unusual group in philanthropy. Uh, it's a hybrid team, and I mean hybrid in the sense that uh, we both serve the interests of the Hewlett Foundation as well as the sector that we work in. So internally, we provide guidance and advice and support in the areas of strategy, evaluation, and organizational learning. And then externally in the sector, we provide grants in the area of organizational effectiveness. So that's helping nonprofits be strong, healthy, resilient organizations and a strong philanthropic sector, making sure that the uh, philanthropy sector has uh, the kind of knowledge resources it needs to do philanthropy well. So I grew up in inner city Philadelphia. Uh, in a pretty poor family, we were working, working class, uh, poor family, immigrant family. My father came here as a uh, baby. And I think what I hold in my own lived experience is that poor people understand what they want. You know, I grew up, we understood what our preferences were. We had a certain way of living, a certain culture, a certain diet. Uh, we relied a little bit on some services, and it makes a difference to be treated with respect and dignity. So I think I, I hold that value as both a lived experience and as something that's really the, the right thing to do, to actually listen to people, ask them not only about who they are, what their needs are, but what their preferences are in terms of how they want to engage. What matters most, I think, is the mindset of listening. So I want to understand if I want to bring a product or a service or provide some help uh, in terms of financing or uh, some other delivery system, I need to be listening to the people I'm attempting to benefit in some way. I had a feeling in my, in my gut that we were really too far away from the people that we were seeking to help, whether it was the students throughout the schools in the United States or whether it was the smallholder farmers in Africa. Um, it felt to me right and moral that we listen to their voices, understand their preferences. Here we are putting millions of dollars, hundreds of millions of dollars into schools and seeds. And what was the customer experience like? How were the young people, the students, experiencing those smaller schools, those teachers, their peers? Did they feel safe in the classrooms? How are the smallholder farmers uh, uh, enjoying the new seeds? Did they like them? Didn't they? Did they like what they grew with them? Did it comport with their diet, their preferred way of eating or farming? Uh, what was the customer experience? Uh, it felt to me that it was the moral thing to do uh, to get that feedback and factor their considerations and insights into our funding decisions. It is pretty easy for people who work inside foundations to just hear the hum of their own voices. Um, and so we have to be careful of that. We have to be careful that we don't just listen to each other. We don't just listen to the people who find their way into our conference rooms, uh, that we don't just listen to experts, uh, but that there's a lot of value and insight that we can derive uh, from listening to people who might hold different views than we do, who might bring different experience, uh, different lived experience, and different insight and wisdom to share with us. I need to factor in their preferences, their ideas, their insight, their wisdom into my decision making. It doesn't mean I'm handing over the reins of decision making. It means I'm getting smarter about my decisions. Others are getting smarter about their decisions. So we're in conversation and I'm factoring in input and feedback along the way. When we think about, we want to evaluate this initiative. Well, what do we exactly mean by that? What we really mean are, what are the questions that we need to answer that will help us or our partners make more informed decisions. So let's be specific about the questions that we want to answer. What do we want to know? How are we going to use the information that comes back? When do we need to know the answer to these questions so that we can apply them to decisions about re-upping a certain portfolio of grants or 
uh, pursuing a new initiative or helping our organizations make timely decisions. But there's many different purposes that we might uh, use an evaluation for internally with our partners to try to advocate for different kinds of resource allocation in the government level. So figuring out what is the purpose of our evaluation uh, and then how do we pursue that purpose in the best and most efficient way possible is what we always wanna be doing. I would love to learn from the students in this course uh, about all of their many different varied experiences and how they can uh, imagine uh, more feedback practice fitting into their work. Do they see feedback from their customers, from their clients, from their communities as something that they're already doing? Uh, how are they doing that? Are they doing it well? Are they, do they see areas where they can improve? Uh, and uh, if so, how, and to be in conversation uh, about that. I, uh, I am so bullish on feedback and on the power of feedback that uh, I know that I still have a lot to learn uh, from others. And so I'm sure that there are many different in interesting creative practices going on all over the globe that I can learn about and share with others. Um, and uh, I, I would love to do that. I'm eager to do so.